thanks for joining me for Full Steam Ahead. I'm really excited about our new session for STEAM. I have a lot of really fun activities and um, experiments to share with you. And I hope you have a chance to join me. Now for our first experiment, I'm gonna show you how to make a weather vane. So what a weather vane is, is it's a tool to measure wind direction. So what happens is the wind will push the broad side of the paper and it will spin. So you may have seen these in uh, the past. Sometimes people have them on top of their houses. Um, traditionally, that's where they, they put them is on top of their houses. And quite often it's a rooster. And then you have uh, the, uh, the arrows on there as well. So that is used to show wind direction and then it helps people determine what the weather's gonna be like that day. So if it's a north wind, uh, quite often it's cold. There's a cold front coming in. In the summer, if it's coming from the west, uh, the, the weather will be uh, rainy quite often because these, the uh, clouds develop storms in the foothills. Um, in the winter, if it's a uh, west wind, if it's pointing to the west, uh, then it will be windy and dry and warm. Um, because during the winter, the west winds uh, are warm because the clouds are forced to go over the mountains and as they're forced up, then they release all their moisture and as they come over the mountains, it goes down fast and it's dry. So we get that strong, fast wind that's dry. So it's really interesting to watch uh, how the wind and the weather patterns are related. So this is a, a way to try to keep track of that. So I'll show you how to make this. So. First thing you wanna do is prepare your straw. Now I have a bendy straw, so I cut off the bendy part. So it's just the solid uh, piece of straw. So what you wanna do is you want to make slits in your straw that face the same direction. So if you make a slit this direction, you wanna make sure that you make a slit this direction on this side. If you do it so that the slit is this direction, and then this direction on the other side is not going to work. I'll show you what I mean. So here we have the two triangles and they both have the broad side uh, facing the same way. So if you make the slit so that it is like this on this side and then like this on this side, it's gonna be like this and it won't spin because you only have one of the triangles with the broad side uh, facing out. So you want it to be like this so that your triangles are both uh, with the broad side facing the wind so that the wind will blow it. So what you wanna do is get some hard stock or heavy paper and cut out a square and then you can cut from one corner to the other corner of the square and you get two triangles and then you want to so just going to cut the slits in straw and then you want to put the pointy end on one side and then on the other side you want the broad end to go in the slit. So basically the triangles are pointing the same direction. And then what you want to do is get a coffee cup or I got these coffee cups from the, uh, the dollar store. 
Um, you can also use a yogurt container or some kind of container that will be high enough to uh, be stable for the pencil, um, but light enough that uh, you can work with it. So it's important what kind of material is too, because you're going to put a hole in the middle of it. So you want to make sure that uh, you can put a hole in the middle of the paper container. So you need a pencil and you need one end to be very sharp and you need an eraser on the other end. So the sharp end of the pencil is going to act like a pivot. So it's going to sit on this end and it's going to, that is the part that will spin on the ground. So what you want to do is put the pencil in the middle of your cup and push it right through. Now you want to make sure that there's enough room uh, between the pencil and the coffee cup. If, if the hole is too tight around the pencil, it's not going to spin freely. If it's too loose, then it'll flop around. So you just want to kind of move it around a little bit and spin it just to make sure there's enough room that it can move freely. You're going to be also using Play-Doh. So if you find that it's too loose, you can make like a little donut uh, with the Play-Doh and then put this donut around the bottom of the pencil just to give it a little bit of stability. So you can put that right on the end and that should hold it stable, especially when the Play-Doh dries. So what you're gonna do is once you have your pencil in there, then you're going to take your straw that you've made into an arrow and put a pin right in the middle of your straw. And then you're going to take the pin and poke it into the eraser on your pencil. And that makes uh, your weather vane. Now what you need to do is also write the direction in your, uh, like on your cup. You can also get um, some paper and write the direction on there and you can, you can glue it onto your cup as well. Just to, so you have some uh, indication of what the direction is. So I'm going to write on here, north, so N, S W. So when I went to school, we we remembered the direction, like uh, by using um, something um, that. So N was uh, short for never. E was east. Uh, sorry, never eat shredded wheat. So that's how we remembered north, east, south, west. So never eat shredded wheat. So, um, so now you have the directions on there. And so when you put this outside, it's going to spin uh, when the wind pushes the broadside of your triangles. So because this is, it's very light. So in the wind, it's just going to blow away. So what you need to do is get some Play-Doh or some plasticine. And then once you take this outside, then you want to put this around the base just to hold it stable. And if you push it right into a table or on the ground, it'll be stable enough and it won't blow around especially when it dries. Now, once you take it outside, you can use a compass uh, to show you the direction. Um, you can also, a lot of uh, phones have compasses uh, on there as well. So if you have uh, a phone with a compass, then you can use that to indicate which way is north. So then you would know that 
it's north, east, south, west. So I hope you enjoyed that. And um, if you make it, I hope you have a chance to, to chart it out and see if there's any correlation between the wind direction and weather patterns. Thanks for joining me. Have a good day. Thank you.